everybody, Bunny here. Hope you guys are doing good. Today it is a nice crisp um, fall day, even though technically it's not hasn't been the first day of fall yet. But um, yeah, it's cloudy and chilly, and I love it. <laughs> so um, I have some baby doll blankets to show you, and one doll dress that I made, which is okay. <laughs> and then I do have some of my fall in love collab project worked on that I want to show you guys. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'm going to wait until all that is over, which is on October 1st. So if you guys want to get in on that, the information is all linked down below. So let me show you. First I'll show you the doll dress and then I'll show you the blankets, I think, because the blankets are a lot cuter than the dress. So I had mentioned um, in a previous video, the one with the bees in it, that um, I'm teaching a class at church um, it's a kindergarten class of little girls and there are some uh, baby dolls in there, but they, they didn't have any clothes. And I mean, that's part of the fun of playing with dolls, right? Is dressing them and undressing them and dressing them again. So I wanted to make some kind of simple clothes for them. And I made this dress, which there is, I didn't follow any pattern at all. All I did was I chained, I guessed a chain, and then I connected it with a slip stitch and I crocheted up and then I decreased. And then I just <laughs> crocheted little straps, something like purse straps. Now this yarn is um, Sweet Suckles Light, uh, I believe it's Icy Mint or Mint Green or something like that. Um, anyway, it's, it works. I don't know what type of doll this is, it's just a, a random doll. Oh, and it matches kind of her little bow. I do need to comb its hair, but this just slips on by the shoulders and then it just it just pulls right on off and then it just goes on really simple, something like, you know, just dressing any doll. So this is, the dress is all single crochets. I chose the, the softer chenille yarn. Well, one, because it was right next to me on my crochet cart and two, because I wanted a thicker yarn just to work up fast. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not brilliant or anything. I mean, I guess I could embellish it a little bit, but we have one doll dress. There are some more like baby, baby, baby dolls there. So I might, maybe I'll make bibs or, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how much it gets played with. Anyway, then there was just like one blanket there and it's huge because it was someone had donated their actual baby's blanket it looks like because it's really really big and kind of awkward to play with so I wanted to get some tiny little blankets in there and I made this one which is I know it's yellow and it's just kind of hard to see but this is the moss stitch and around the edge I single crocheted and then I half doubled I don't know if it'll show up very nicely. There you go. And there's sparkle in that yarn. I love it. So I made this. I'm like, I love this little blanket. It's just mainstays yellow. And I have to make a pony out of that <laughs> too. But um, so I have this little blanket here. I think I used a G hook for it. And I have a granny square one. Now I made this kind of around granny square day but it was just never finished, so I didn't show you guys. Um, I just took some scrap yarns, and again, I have that sparkle yarn around the edge with, I think, just single crochets on this one, because, or was it double, half doubles? Um, half doubles, it's half doubles, half doubles. So this is just a little small granny square blanket probably used a G hook. I don't, I don't really remember. Maybe it was a 3.75. Um, yeah, so we have two little blankets and I was doing some cleaning and I found these other granny squares that I had made, I want to say last year. And I was going, I, I started it because I just needed something to crochet. And then I thought I'd make a granny square cardigan or something out of it, but then that just never happened. So I found these two granny squares that I had worked out. It's with the mandala or mandala or however you say it, mandala? I think I say it mandala. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think this, I don't remember the colorway, but they still have this in the stores. You guys could probably tell me. Um, I want to say wizard. No, I don't know. 
it's mandala yarn i used a g hook for it because there was a stitch marker on it that told me and this is one cake just in a granny square just one cake of it and i was like when i found it when i was cleaning I'm like you know that would be a pretty cute baby blanket it's just a little bit bigger but it's drapey so i again <laughs> used that sparkly yarn and I just did single crochets around this because I didn't need it to be any bigger. Then there's another one which might be my favorite. Like when I made the yellow one, I thought that was my favorite. And then I thought this was my favorite. But I think this one is my favorite. This is Mandela Gnome. Isn't this pretty? Uh, again, I took that, that sparkle yarn. I think it's like a Hobby Lobby sparkle yarn. My sister gave it to me a long time ago and I just had a scrap ball of it left. Um, the hook size on this is a little bit bigger, maybe a five or 5.5. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think I just, I did a 5.5 for the single crochets all the way around. So we have some cute baby doll blankets. I guess this is so cute. Even if you just wanted to crochet up a cake, of the mandala it's a nice size just for a lapkin also because when i was crocheting the edge around him like oh this is a nice size for a lapkin so i have those baby blankets a one doll dress and you know what you guys i didn't enjoy making the doll dress as much as i thought i was going to <laughs> i thought i'd really like really enjoy making doll clothes but i was surprised because my hashtag fall in love my fall in love project I like I actually really like it much better than I thought I would much better than making doll clothes um, now I wasn't quite sure what the hook sizes actually were like in millimeters because I showed you guys my grandma's hooks and they're the metal boy ones and they they have numbers but they don't have like the millimeter like the size so I found a blog uh, penguin crafts and I printed out a chart that has the sizes and the numbers for the steel hooks because I just, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I made tiny little weird, I don't know if you can call it a swatch, of the, the yarn that I'm using, which is connected to my project. So I'm being careful here. Okay, which is this. I got this at Goodwill. It's an off-white color, this size. I, I have no idea <laughs> but anyway so I just took some of it and I took the hooks and I made little tiny swatches I tried that one tiny tiny hook which is a size 13 um, it was way too small of a hook to even catch that thread so I didn't use that one I'll go from biggest to smallest I'll show you guys the swatch thingies now this hook is not my grandma's hook and I, I taped the swatches on because I wasn't gonna be able to tell the difference. Um, this hook came from that, like un, when I did like this unboxing type video um, from Goodwill, I got this box of yarn and crafty stuff and there were a bunch of hooks in there. So this hook was in there, which is a zero. And let me look at the chart, which is a 3.25. So it's not that, you know, small please ignore the tape. All I did was I just chained probably like 10 or 11 or something. I did some single crochets. I did some half doubles, some doubles and a few triples. And that's how big it came out. And it's drapey and you can see the stitches very nicely. It was, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Then I took a, the next size that I had that was a little bit bigger is a seven, which is actually the size that I picked to make my project with. Now the seven is, and the seven is like a 1.5 and then the chart also says it could be a 1.65 millimeter hook. Uh, it's, it's tiny, I don't know how well you will see that. But this is what my, my little flag looks like with the seven. It was a lot easier to, to do than I thought it was going to be. I'll compare every, Hook with the biggest one so this is the biggest one at 3.25 and then this is size 7 well there was also a size 8 <laughs> I'll untape it there was a size 8 hook in there this is what the size 8 one looks like this is a 7 this is the 8 it's like barely a difference so the the 3.5 I mean 
yeah, it's smaller, the higher number of steel hook, the smaller, the millimeter size, I guess. And then there was a nine. Now my grandma had two nine hooks in there, so that leads me to believe that nine was one that she used often because we tend to have hooks of multiple, mul we tend to have multiple hooks of the sizes that we use a lot. So this is a size nine hook, <laughs> the hooks all look the same. Um, but it is a little bit tinier. It was not that bad to crochet, you know, the smaller I was getting, it really wasn't like horrible. So there's the biggest and then there's the smallest and I have one more, which is a size 11 hook. This is a size 11 hook, it's so teeny tiny. Um, yeah, it, says, it looks like a nose. Uh, here's the, or it could be a fingernail because it's kind of sticking to my finger because of the tape. So here's the bigger one, the 3.75. And then this is the size 11, which is, the chart says the 11 is a 1.1 millimeter hook. So quite the difference there. Um, it was okay, but really, really tight. Um, I could do it if I wanted to, but my project, I don't want it to be too stiff. So I chose to do the size seven hook. Um, some of you guys have recommended that and thank you for any tips and advice when working with thread or steel hooks. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> One more thing about the steel hooks. I was afraid that I would have trouble with this project because the hooks are steel hooks. I used to crochet all the time with the metal hooks and it made my wrists hurt because of the coldness of the metal. And then when I switched to the clovers, which is what I love, my wrist pain totally went away with those plastic hooks. So anyway, the project I'm making is a YouTube tutorial, but I'm not going to share that yet. I'm going <laughs> to wait until the fall in love collab finale or whatever you want to call it. Um, I will show you my progress so far because it really doesn't give away that much, but I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys again until the very end. We'll see. Uh, this is so fun. So I'm making, yes, I'm making a doily. I've never done that before. Um, the design, it hasn't came yet though. So this just looks like any run of the mill doily. Am I showing you the back? I'm showing you the back. I swear, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. <laughs> this is the front. Um, it is working up so fast. I can't believe how fun it is. I'm taking my my opportunities during the daytime when there's really good lighting to do this, but it really, it's, it's pretty fun. Now I did watch the tutorial first to make sure I could do it and I can totally do it because I was very intimidated in making doilies and using those tiny hooks and the thread. I've never crocheted with thread before. So I am glad that it's working out my first choice project is working super good. Um, the second project, I'm trying to decide on the pattern that I want to do do for that. Um, that's going to be it's going to be interesting. And if I have any progress done on that, if I decide on my pattern, which I need to do, but it's not going to take that long. But anyway, I'm babbling. I will show you if I make any progress or if I start that one. Um, and then I had mentioned that there was a third like project that was going to be my like my fail safe if I couldn't do a doily, if I couldn't do the second project. Um, and I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is. So I was gonna wait to tell you what it is until the end, but I don't know, I can't wait. I have never, ever, ever, never made a corner to corner blanket. I have seen them, people make them, they're beautiful. I love the scrappy ones and I've never done that. So if I get these two projects finished, I'm gonna start on a corner to corner scrappy blanket. And I know it's not gonna be finished um, by October 1st. My fail safe was gonna be though, if, if I ended up with the corner to corner blanket, I was just gonna make a doll blanket, a doll size blanket. Um, but I'm gonna make like a big blanket because I have, I'm getting some more scrappy balls now. That didn't sound right. I'm getting a lot of scrap balls. Um, I'm accumulating a lot of extra yarn <laughs> and I would really like to make a huge um, corner to corner blanket just to throw upstairs on the bed and yeah, use up some of my yarn to make room for more yarn. 
Uh, I am surprised, like, this doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. Uh, I definitely know I have enough <laughs> to finish my project. Um, yeah, the, I'll be making doilies forever. Anyways, anyways, so that's what I have to show you guys today. I hope you are doing well and that you are having some fun. Join in the fall collab if you want to, if you want to just try something you've never tried before. See if you fall in love with it. I am falling in love with the, the thread, crochet thread. I'm totally surprised because I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. I'll try it. I'm probably not going to like it, but I really, I really do enjoy it. So you'll probably be seeing more thread projects from me in the future. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting and the likes and all of that stuff. Um, I'm sorry I pulled like the ads. They, like I don't make any money from the YouTube videos yet. Like I need, I need like a ton of watch hours still. So I'm sorry if those annoy you, but I have no control over it. I mean, they annoy me, me sometimes. But anyways, thanks for just sticking with it and just click skip ad. I don't really care. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your night or day or whenever you're watching this and i will be seeing you soon bye everybody now now comes the awkward time of video where i just don't know how to end it you guys it's hilarious all the edits that i make just when i'm trying to say see you later goodbye or whatever i never know how to end the videos i gotta get on top of things i still haven't made my list <laughs> i feel like i'm letting elaine down sorry now comes a part of the video, but every time, like every time, I'm gonna let you guys on a little secret. I don't know how to end it. Like I, I do all these endings and they're so cheesy and just, I'm like, well, I need to re-record that. Um, so anyways, I don't know. I am just done with the video now, I guess I could say. <laughs> That's all I have to show you guys for today. Um, I really do enjoy talking to you. Have a good one. Bye. I'm watching the traffic go up the road. <laughs> I think they can see me making a video. I hope you guys are enjoying fall, and this, if you have fall, if, or maybe you're on the other side, which would be summer, spring? I don't know, weather. Why do we talk about the weather? Now I'm just babbling.